much I think he, every team would like to to go out with a win, uh, irrespective of which which position you are on. So that applies to to us, prison reports. So it's going to be a very good game. To, to give the correct answer to the question which is being asked. And uh, uh, I remember, I think that day, uh, I was asked about Power Dynamos and Forest Rangers. So both are my former clubs and I had to give an answer where, where I wasn't going to, to be siding with the, any team. So I had to say it has to be NAPSA because I didn't want to side with any team because uh, they are both my former teams and even the teams which were in the parking chair which were chasing to go second I think I didn't want to say it would be Zesco, it would be Green Eagles, it would be Forest so I just had to say my team will be, will be second but in reality I knew that uh, second round we did a wonderful job and we are on the second position, yes, but uh, for us as NAPSA stars, I think to be on second was a bonus and when we, when we are second, yes, because uh, you have to have ambitions and we wanted to, to come out second because it was during the last five games and if you are second, why not dream to be second? So we wanted it uh, because we are in it. But that didn't happen. That doesn't mean uh, something went wrong because I think we have had a wonderful season. Uh, being on fifth, going into the last game, we can come out number three if we do well, depending on other results. But we are very sure we are not going to come out of the top six even if we don't get the, the, the desired uh, uh, results so we are happy with our season happy with what we have done because I, I think uh, you should you should learn always because this is an APSA team which went into division one when they were playing continental football sometimes life will teach you a lesson maybe uh, for us we are coming here to stabilize and then we found ourselves uh, in the continental brackets so maybe it has taught us that we are not prepared to play continental the teams which have qualified I think they they won the rights to represent the, 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 the country but it has shown us that if we we do better than than this season what we have done we correct the mistakes which we did I think there are many challenges in the season it's not just about the team it's about the administration Everything in football, I think it has to be on point. It's about where you are training from. So I think for us, we are very happy because this has, this has given us a platform to see where we went wrong. And uh, not necessarily where we went wrong, but to make the correct decisions. And next season, we will plan for next season for bigger things because we are coming from a, a, divi a lower division so to be number five going into the last game I think it's a it's a very good season for us no no regrets at all I think uh, the lowest moment was uh, when we are one of the best teams creating chances and not having the kind of players we wanted in terms of scoring of course even the ones where uh, we had they did a wonderful job, but I think we needed to bring people like Adams, Pinocchi, just to make sure everyone is fighting for his position. And I think it lifted the, the other guys to even do more, the likes of Kapembwa, uh, Jimmy. I think it made them work harder. That's what we wanted. I think uh, that was one of the things, uh, I think that was one of the lowest, because we didn't have the the strikers to push other strikers to, to do well. The highlights, I think uh, it's uh, for us to be where we are. 
I think we are the best, we are the third best uh, defensive. I think we are the third team which has considered, which has considered uh, less goals uh, apart from Power Dynamos and the Forest Rangers. So that means we are doing something good. If you can see, Power Dynamos, they, have, they ran away with the rig because they were not conceding. To concede 14 goals going into the last game, I think it's something remarkable from Power Dynamos. So for us to be to find ourselves in fifth position and conceding 24, the other team which has conceded less, it's uh, Forest Rangers 23, then it means uh, there is a foundation which will build the team from. I think uh, uh, we have uh, a slot for you or a job for you at NAPSA because of the numbers you have <laughs> given me. And if it wasn't for a short time to have a pretty much, I think I could come up with many numbers and I'm happy we have been highlighting those numbers I think this past week and the other weeks uh, because for a team I think our worst defeat like we have said is against the Green Buffaloes 2-0 and the Zesco United so it means we are doing something especially in defense because the, those are our worst losses I think there have been big teams which have lost more than that uh, the amount the the number of goals than us so it means we are doing a, a lot in terms of uh, the foundation because to to win things first you have to have uh, the foundation and i believe the foundation in football is first of all it's not to reach goals and we have been doing that and that's why we find ourselves on the fifth position like i i said about power dynamos this is very remarkable. They, on, they have only considered uh, 14, which is, I think, one of the best uh, uh, number of goals to concede in the, in the league. Coming to where we want to reinforce, I think, even in scoring, I think we have done well, especially after the, the the, the what for after we captured the signature of uh, Adams and the Pinocchi, I think the competition for the strikers has been good and we have been able to score a lot of goals. And I'm happy for, for, for my team. I think the, the only team, I think, especially the top teams, maybe where we failed to, to score was against Power Dynamos. But if you come to Moza, we scored the if the the times we beat them, Moza it was three three nil, Green Buffaloes it was four one, Green Eagles we beat we scored two, Red Arrows big teams we scored uh, three goals. So in terms of uh, of the striking force, I think we did well, but we can do better, more especially with the. Uh, the relation to to the to the number of chances we create in, in each game, and uh, what I feel is now is for the for the midfield in terms of uh, personnel, the who have scored. I think in in terms of the midfielders to come to the party and score goals, and I think we could have done well because also they had a lot of chances, but in this department. In terms of creating, they did well. In terms of defending, they did well. But in terms of scoring, I think that's where we lacked. But also the strikers, I think everyone who was given a chance, I think if we can score, maybe if we can go in two, two digits, most of the strikers, and then I believe we are going to do well in the in next season. Fringe players, the last game, we have used almost everyone who has been available, including the ones we released in, in December. So the only player who is remaining not to play is uh, Fuk Banda, I think in go, and is the one who is going to, to, to be between the posts in this game. And also the ones who have played less minutes, because it doesn't mean anything 
uh, going into the last game. Yes, we want to, to be fit, but it doesn't mean anything. Uh, this is the for us we, we take this as the start of next season. So planning has already started. Thank you. We have done poor in this department, even out of uh, the Midlands. I think even to 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 win or to get points, it has been a poor season for us, and we have analyzed this. But we are only waiting for you to go in detail. So when you come, I think we are going to do better. <laughs> if we just had maybe two wins on the road or four goals on the road, I think we could have been talking about being the second team on the log. So I think uh, the missing link was you, Guezani, and we will be waiting for you so that next season, because we have started talking about this, but we just need your good contribution and we'll be waiting for you. The numbers speak from, for themselves and Fred has been one of the uh, best players, not just at Napsa, but in the league. I think we, we took him from Buffaloes, I think he was not having game time and he has, uh, he has come into the Napsa team and jailed with the rest of the team very well. So it's one person we are looking at, uh, I think, to, to be one of the key players next season. It's not easy to come to a team and uh, then jail like the way he has done. And uh, that shows that it's not anywhere where you can enjoy your football. So for him, I think maybe he knows that uh, if he goes back or he goes to another team, it's difficult for him. There are some players who are going to, to enjoy football, where the, the tactics or the way the team plays will suit you. And that has suited Mwimanzi and he's very happy to be here. I hope that's the way you see it as well. Because the 12 supporters, we can do more. We have got a good team of Gwen, Luca. I think in that department they did very well. I think it's, uh, it's one of the scores we have done this season. Going to play at Heroes Stadium, it has one of the best staffs in Zambia. And I think that's where we collected a lot of points because you just go there, you know that you are going there for a match. Because um, some other stadium, I think they, they, they don't even encourage you that you are going for a match. But at our home ground, I think uh, we are good to go. And the, the way, like I have said, Luca, they have done well. The, the fans there, the boys, the, the older people, they are always there to support us. And they have been the top player for us. And well done to them. We obviously have to intensify from what we have done so far. So we have a lot of uh, programs lined up. We just have to run them through with the CEO get approval and then yeah we'll be good to go but i know that from what we started it's a very good project mm. obviously not something uh short term so we're just hoping that uh, the fans stick around but we have a lot of projects lined up for next season and hopefully we'll get more numbers than we did this season because obviously this was just our first season at zero stadium so we still have a number of projects lined up and I believe we'll have a lot of fans next season. Just to add, I think what they have done, very great work. But also, I think at Heroes Stadium, I think when you come in terms of the games, they have been a marvel to watch. I think it has been excellent from the boys, we are happy. From these guys, we are happy. So. People who come, obviously, if we are going to give the best win, lose or draw, yeah. we are always going to give the best games. I think if you haven't come to watch the games, you have missed one, you have missed the games which have been the best uh, games in Zambia. The concerns, I think, going into the last game, Zikilu has been out, I think we have missed him. 
since the for the last four games Renard Mlenga, we have missed him but we have told them even if they, for Renard he has started right training but we are planning for next season so for this game we are not considering anyone who has got a slight knock because we want them to come fresh for next season because it has been a wonderful season for us we have not been disappointed coming fifth and congratulations to Power Dynamos and FC Musa. Hope they will make us proud uh, in the Continental Games so that slowly we can be getting the points to get those four slots for Continental Games. Because if we get those slots, it uh, means it's even good for, for our national team so that if teams we play more continental games, it means it's easier for the, our national team coach to have a uh, selection because players who have that few of playing international games because the ultimate is the national team, the ultimate is Zambia. We should be playing for Zambia, not just for our teams. Thank you.